How's it going guys? I'm doing something a little bit different at the moment and I want to talk about the new Yu-Gi-Oh! series that has apparently been announced. It got announced on, I think it was either yesterday or the day before or something like that. But uh, someone actually brought it to my attention on Twitter recently. So I had a little look into it and we have a picture here of the, I, I think the new main character. And um, I like his, his, his uniform. His uniform looks cool. Looks kind of normal. But uh, there's a lot going on with his hair. And though my favourite colour is blue and the channel's theme is mainly purple, uh, I'm not too sure how I think about his hair. Because obviously the hair is important, isn't it, on the main character. But um, let's look a little bit more into it. Apparently the the theme that was revealed about this is like, you know how it's like, Yu-Gi-Oh! Arc 5 is um, smiling or something like that. Uh, having fun while dueling. And Yugi's was, I guess, living in the heart of the cards. However, that was the obviously the uh, the dub version. This one appears to be, let's take one step forward and try it. So if you wanted to do something from this, if you read a bit more, it kind of says, well, let's just read the whole thing. So the theme for the new work is, let's take one step forward and try it. His name, by the way, is uh, Yusaku, Yusaku Fujiki. So yeah, if we stick with the U theme. So, Yusaku hates standing out, and at his school he doesn't. However, Yusaku starts to meet others through dueling and starts to move forward. So, this is someone that... I can't confirm if he's a, he's a good duelist or a bad duelist. He's someone that's bad that's going to learn to get good. I imagine he's going to be a good duelist, but he doesn't like to stand out in front of people. So, this is all about sort of striving to be more open kind of thing, I guess. So I think this series might be something to do with confidence as a theme, which I think would be quite good. Believing in yourself, trying to be more confident in your own abilities. He's someone that doubts himself, even though he has the plays to, to win duels, he might not be confident enough to do them. So it's that kind of thing. And I think all of the characters we've had so far, well, I guess Yugi wasn't very good at making friends. He did initially struggle with friends, but then obviously he got all of his different friends. Um, Jaden never had a problem making friends or doing what he wanted to do. Yusei never really had trouble because he's, he's a legend. Yuma had quite a few friends. I don't think he ever had a, a friend problem. And Yu Yu as well. Yeah, he makes friends like no one else. So this would be interesting if we've got like a loner main character that has to learn to work with others. It would be quite cool. So it's not too specific about when this new series will start, but it does say spring 2017. So that's something you can look forward to. To me, it seems really soon after the Yu-Gi-Oh! Arc 5 series. It still hasn't finished yet, but that is about the same time when I think Arc 5 is going to finish. But yeah, so Arc 5 actually premiered in April 2014, which seems so long ago now, but yeah, only f it only felt like the other day. And uh, we got a confirmation down here to the people that didn't know, excuse me. Uh, Japan, it aired on April 23rd. This is for the Yu-Gi-Oh! The Dark Side of Dimensions movie. It's going to air in America and Canada on January 27th, 2017. So that'll be when I'm watching it as well. Even though I don't reside in either one of those countries, I'm sure I'll find a way to watch it. So the only last thing I want to say about this is some things that people get a bit worried about is the fact that when a new series of Yu-Gi-Oh! comes about, normally there's going to be a new summoning method or something new added to the game to make it unique. Pendulum summoning in most recent Arc 5, Xyz summoning in Zexal, Synchro summoning in 5Ds, even though fusions were already a thing, GX fusions I guess. So, could this guy bring about a new form of summoning? Could he bring about some new types of cards? Could a new game mechanic be introduced? Not too sure yet. Um... We'll have to see. Also, when is this going to be set? Is this going to be set after Yu-Gi-Oh! Arc 5? I, I don't know. We're going to see. But yeah, that was pretty much all I wanted to say, just to bring this to your guys' attention. And I want to hear sort of a discussion in the comment section below. So I want you guys to tell me what you think of this new main character. What do you think new techniques they could use? What would you like to see out of this series? Are you ready to see a new series come out so soon? Just uh, let me know in the comment section below. I want to hear your thoughts and theories below. Thanks for watching.